some things never, never change. But most everything else does always, always change. There are things that always change in our lives and we need to acknowledge this. Number one, very simple. You and I, we cannot control the weather. Okay? We cannot control how other people respond to us. We can't control what other people think about us. We can't necessarily control things of this magnitude. But what we can control is how we show up each day and respond to what it is that is happening in our lives. We can use our partner leaving us unexpectedly to our advantage. We can use a stock market crash to our advantage. We can use a week of rainy weather and clouds and thunderstorms to our advantage. There are things happening all around us that we can't control, but we can control how we respond to these things that are happening. Again, we can use anything happening around us to our advantage. All it requires is intelligence and consciousness. Look at gravity. Gravity is something, if you're holding a ball in your hand, you don't have to push really hard to get the ball to go down. All you have to do is understand gravity and let go. Because gravity takes over for you. Gravity will bring that ball to the ground. It's the same with everything that's happening in our lives. No matter how big or how small, there are laws of nature, there are fundamental manifestations of energy and cycles playing out in every single one of our lives. And if you are willing to be consciously aware and recognize them, instead of reacting, instead of immediately trying to push the ball down, instead of trying to resist relationships changing in your life, instead of trying to resist financial hardships at times, instead of trying to resist certain illnesses or sicknesses we may have manifested, instead of trying to resist, instead of trying to push the ball down, all we need to do is understand gravity and let go. Therefore, the challenges in our lives, the best way to respond to all and any of them, I do not care what they are. What I'm about to share with you works for all of them and you will see that by the end of this video with the information I'm about to share with you. There will just be no denying the truth in this conversation. And you should be able to move into your life with a much greater power if only you're willing to exercise it and see it for yourself. It's time to stop resisting and pushing against things in your life that you wish would change. You gotta stop doing that because it doesn't actually create change. What does create change is letting go. The truth is, it's not just gravity that works for us when we understand it and let go. It's everything in our lives. I wanna make this directly obvious for you. If something happens in your life that you don't want to be happening, if you are angry, if you are against it, if you are trying to push it away from yourself, if you are trying to create change or stop change from happening in any situation and you're doing it from this place of not wanting it to be there, you are in a state where your mind is no longer working for you. You are releasing all kinds of stress hormones in the body. You are creating tension. You are ruining your sleep. You are creating more inflammation and illness. We literally have scientific evidence that backs this understanding now that when you are in a stressed state, a state that inevitably comes to you when you try to push something away from yourself outside of you that you don't want to be happening anymore, you enter into a state where you are no longer thinking and operating clearly. You no longer have the energy and the power and the focus and the mental capacity and clarity to actually make a change. So what we need to do is let go, meaning we accept our situation. You need to stop resisting the challenges in your life. You need to stop trying to affirm that they don't exist. That's like having a bunch of weeds in your garden and you're like this, there's no weeds, there's no weeds, there's no weeds, I hate weeds, I hate weeds, there's no weeds, there's no weeds. I got news for you. Those weeds are still there and they're growing bigger and stronger and they're taking out your crops and your fruit and your vegetables that you planted. Don't ignore that there's weeds. This is a misunderstanding so many people face. If you turn around and you acknowledge those weeds are there, 
then you can uproot them, you can pull them out, you can learn and understand why they appeared there in the first place. And then you can have your garden back, you can start growing the things in your life you want. The thing is, is that change really is this inevitable thing in our lives. And the things that never change, the joke is that are the things that we have the power to change instantly. What never changes for most people is their mindset, their mentality. What never changes for most people is the negativity they carry around in their minds. So against life, always complaining, always wishing things could be different. The joke is that that mentality you could change in an instant. And if you change that in an instant, you immediately wake up in life as an intelligent person who is now able to make actual differences, who is now actually able to transform things and to align themselves with the way that things are happening. But what's happening doesn't define me. How I respond to what's happening has much more of the ability to create a definitiveness in who I am. Some things never change. Most everything else always is. Imagine the amount of energy, and well-being, and clarity, peace, joy, and love you could have right now if only you were willing to accept that truth of life. If only you were willing to harness the power of how you show up to the changes. Instead of wasting all your energy trying to control external reality, if you can learn to let external reality be what it is, now you have that much more power to show up and actually make things the way you want them to be. Isn't that just the most ironic, comical thing about success and manifestation you ever heard? That to have control over your life, you gotta first learn to surrender control. I think our creator has a pretty good sense of humor. What do you think? Hey, I wanna let you know, I got all kinds of playlists tagged on my homepage, organized specifically for your benefit, to drive transformation into categories of your life that you are most interested in. We're talking about relationships, we're talking about finances, we're even talking about more broad conversations of understanding manifestation and abundance as a whole. So definitely check out my homepage and subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you for the next Vibes and Frequencies video. Thank you. Wishing absolute greatness your way and knowing that it is. See you for the next video.